Hi guys, welcome to another VPN review brought to you by VPNTop10.com. Today we're going to be looking at Viper VPN, which is brought to you by a company called Golden Frog. There's a lot of things I really like about Viper VPN. They've got really fast speeds, tons of server locations, and some of the best, most functional software I've found in any VPN provider. They've also got some really cool security features that most of their competitors don't match, including an advanced kill switch, an included NAT firewall, and a unique stealth mode connection for getting through firewalls undetected. They've also got zero logging DNS servers for completely private website lookups, so there's no records of your online web history. I also love that Viper VPN includes access to their encrypted cloud storage service called Dump Truck, which is normally sold separately, but it's included free with every Viper VPN purchase. As far as downsides go, Viper VPN does cost a bit more than some of the other VPNs out there, and it may not be the best choice for BitTorrent users. The good news is we've got a discount offer for you. If you go through our affiliate link, which is vpntop10.com slash Viper, that's V-Y-P-R, you get 50% off your first month of Viper VPN. You also get access to their three-day free trial period, which we'll talk about a bit later in the video. All right, so this is how you use the affiliate link, just to show you how it works, vpntop10.com slash Viper. And it'll take you directly to their website with a special offer for 50% off the first month right in place. Okay, so here are their three main packages that they have. They've got Basic, Pro, and Premier, and they have a nice feature comparison right here. As you can see, the Basic uh, VPN package really doesn't include that many features, and most of the reasons that I like Viper VPN aren't included in the Basic package. They also only give you access to the PPTP protocol, which is pretty lightweight and not that secure. It's mostly used for stuff like uh, media streaming, like if you wanna unblock Netflix from outside of the US or something like that. It still does come with a dump truck storage, but we highly recommend going with the Pro plan. It's probably the best overall value, and it comes with 25 gigs of encrypted cloud storage through dump truck. Viper VPN does advertise a three-day free trial, but it's really closer to a three-day money-back guarantee because they require payment information. And if you don't cancel within your three-day trial period, they will just automatically sign you up for the plan. This is pretty standard for the VPN industry, but I wish they gave you a longer trial. Maybe like seven days would be nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the features that Viper VPN offers. The number of simultaneous connections is the number of individual devices that can be connected to their network at once. So basically you can connect a mobile phone and your computer at one time. Or you can actually set up your router to connect to their VPN network and then you can protect every single device that's connected to your network all at once while only using up one connection. You get unlimited incoming and outgoing data. There's no cap on the amount of bandwidth you can use per month. And the top two plans include an NAT firewall the NAT firewall is a unique security feature that many VPNs don't offer. What it does is it makes sure that every upstream data packet sent over the VPN tunnel is one that you directly requested. This ensures that people like hackers or other malicious attacks can't reach your computer through the VPN tunnel. Viper VPN includes four protocols, at least when you purchase the top two packages. These are PPTP, OpenVPN, L2TP, and Chameleon. Chameleon is the version of a stealth VPN, and this makes sure that you can slip through firewalls undetected, so they won't even know that you're using a VPN at all. And this is useful uh, maybe on your university or a college network, or perhaps if you live in a country where VPNs are banned, and this will help you slip through a firewall like the Great Firewall of China. The protocol that people are gonna be using most often is probably OpenVPN, which is an excellent combination of high security as well as being lightweight enough to stream at high speeds. And then of course, each plan comes with encrypted cloud storage through dump truck. The higher the plan you purchase, the more gigabytes you get, but you can also upgrade the storage capacity separately for an additional fee. Every Viper VPN package includes access to their uh, excellent apps for all four major platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, and iPhone. And they even have a custom router application. If you're running a custom router firmware known as Tomato, that you can actually install their Viper VPN app on your router, which is pretty cool. But you can set it up manually yourself, even if you don't have that the uh, Tomato firmware. This is the Android app here, and as you can see, it's actually got almost all the same functionality as their desktop application. I was really impressed with the quality of their mobile apps, and that's one of the areas that they really stand out. 
The mobile app includes some really advanced features like the ability to automatically connect to the VPN network every time you connect to an unknown or untrusted Wi-Fi network without you doing anything in the software yourself. You can also set Viper VPN's mobile app to automatically connect to the VPN server anytime you launch one of the apps that you specify. For example, if you were out of the country and you wanted to stream Netflix but needed a VPN to do so, you can tell Viper VPN to automatically connect on your smartphone every time you launch Netflix. That's pretty cool. You also get access to all of Viper VPN server locations worldwide, which currently stands at over 50, and you can use either the OpenVPN or the Stealth Chameleon protocol. Viper VPN has over 50 server locations worldwide. You can see on their server map, or they have a complete list of all their servers available. I also love the fact that Viper VPN uses server clusters instead of individual servers, which greatly increases the speed and reliability of their network and decreases accidental disconnects. All right, so this is the Viper VPN desktop software client. Uh, we're using the Windows client, but the Mac client is very similar. You've got a bandwidth monitor here. As you can see, we're not really transferring any data. Uh, you've got their connect dialog, their server selection tool. You can see your connection status. We're not connected to a VPN server at the moment. Shows your current public IP address, uh, duration of connection, the protocol that you're currently using, and whether or not you've got the NAT firewall enabled. So connecting to a server is really easy. You can just connect to the most recent server by clicking connect here, or you can go into the server selection tool. First off, they have a favorites list here, and you can manually choose your favorites that show on this sort of quick server selection list. So if you want to connect to one, you just select it and click, and it'll immediately start connecting, which is cool. All right, so now we're connected to Sweden. And you can see our Viper VPN IP address has changed. And if we wanted to, we can go into uh, IPlocation.net and just verify that this is... Okay, so it's showing us the same IP address as our software, so we know it's working. Okay, so it really is that easy to connect to a VPN server. So even when you're connected to a server, you can actually minimize the software, just close it with the X, you don't even have to have it uh, right here in the in the taskbar, uh, but you will see this little Viper VP, VPN icon right here, and it's currently blue, which shows that you're connected. And if we were disconnected, the status would be red. And if you want to uh, bring the software back up, just double click on it, or you can just right click and see uh, your current sort of connection status by right clicking. But if you double click, it'll bring the software back up. All right, we're gonna disconnect so we can show you some more features in the options menu here. So first off, uh, if you wanted to connect to another server that wasn't on the favorites list, they have their server selection tool and you can sort which regions you wanna show up in this list. So if you only want South American servers, you can deselect all the other ones. As you can see, they have three currently in South America or you can search for a server location. So if we want Los Angeles, we got USA Los Angeles. Uh, if we want the Netherlands, okay. And you can just double click to connect. Also, this is how you control your favorites list. So you can deselect servers or you can add servers to the favorites list and then they'll show up in there. So that's really easy. All right, let's poke around in the options menu and show you some of the more advanced settings. So here are the basic connection settings. You can choose whether to automatically reconnect after a disconnect. You can tell Viper VPN to start every time you lo load Windows. And you can choose whether to use the VPN kill switch. And what this is, is it will instantly stop all your internet traffic if Viper VPN disconnects from a VPN server. So this is useful if you're transferring sensitive data or you wanna make sure that your true IP address is never exposed, uh, either online on like a web page or maybe you're using some sort of program like uh, BitTorrent or uTorrent and you wanna make sure your IP address doesn't leak, leak, you can enable the kill switch. And you can choose whether you want the kill switch to only be active when the software is open or whether it's actually a system level kill switch and will persist even after you close uh, Viper VPN software. So this makes sure that you don't ac accidentally ever route your traffic outside the VPN tunnel.
Next up, we have the Connect on Untrusted Wi-Fi feature. The Connect on Untrusted Wi-Fi network feature is pretty cool and unique to Viper VPN. And what this does is if you enable this checkbox, it lets you specify what your trusted Wi-Fi networks are called. And then anytime you connect to a Wi-Fi network that isn't on your trusted list, it will automatically launch Viper VPN and connect connect to your most recent server to make sure that your data connection is secure. And adding your trusted Wi-Fi network list is really easy. You can just select the server from the list and hit okay. You have to add them one by one, unfortunately. You can't uh, bulk add multiple at once, but you can just uh, add them one by one. And then just hit apply and the settings will take effect. The protocol page lets you choose from any of Viper VPN's four VPN protocols. Right now we're using OpenVPN 160-bit encryption. If you wanna to switch to the stronger 256-bit OpenVPN encryption, you just hit the configure button, hit apply, and then hit apply again, and you can see it's now switched to 256-bit encryption. Or you can switch to one of the other protocols like PPTP, hit apply, and then all this will take effect next time we connect to a VPN server. All right, let's go back to OpenVPN for now. The DNS settings allow you to choose whether you want to use Viper VPN's Viper DNS Zero Knowledge DNS service or your own third-party DNS servers, for example, like FreeDNS or OpenDNS for your DNS lookups. What a DNS lookup is, is every time you type a domain name like google.com or vpntop10.com into your web browser, a DNS server is called to translate that domain name into a numerical address on the internet where your computer can find the, the web pages that you're requesting. We recommend sticking with Viper DNS unless you have a reason to use a third-party server. Viper DNS is a zero-knowledge service, which means that Viper VPN has no idea what websites you're looking up using their service. And all DNS lookups are encrypted. They also include DNS leak protection, which makes sure that your DNS requests are always routed inside the VPN tunnel. We recommend you always keep this enabled as an added security feature. The General Options tab covers things like desktop notifications, the sounds you want to play and connect, or the preferred language for the VPN client. Under the Advanced tab, they have some more advanced settings, but we recommend you don't mess with this, and they actually say, unless support tells you to, you probably shouldn't screw around with these settings. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying our Viper VPN review so far. I just wanted to take a quick second to ask you to please hit the like button for this YouTube video. It's a small step that makes a huge difference in our YouTube rankings. Also, just as a reminder, if you have any questions about Viper VPN or anything else VPN related, please leave them in the comments. We go through and answer them at least once a week. All right, next up we got speed tests and then we're gonna show you how to use the dump truck storage app. Viper VPN is capable of some really impressive speeds, especially when you're using a nearby VPN server. So right now we're connected to a New York server, which is nearby using the OpenVPN 160-bit encryption. And this protocol is a pretty good all-purpose one. It's a very good blend of security as well as a little bit lower encrypt encryption strength for speed. All right, so let's do a speed test. Okay, so we're getting right around 40, maybe a little bit less, 35, 36 megabits per second uh, downstream bandwidth. And just for some comparison, if you want to stream Netflix in high definition, you only need about 5 to 6 megabits per second. So this is a plenty fast connection. All right, we're getting around 20 to 25 upload speed as well. All right, 38 downstream and 27 up. Not bad, especially considering we're on a Wi-Fi network. If we were plugged directly into our router with a LAN, uh, like a LAN cable, we'd actually get a lot faster speeds because we wouldn't have any signal loss with the Wi-Fi network. Okay, now we're going to do a quick international speed test for you. On the left, we've got a UK server, and on the right, a French server. Now you're going to notice that the speeds are going to be a bit slower than when we were doing a local server. And the reason is that when you send encrypted data over long distances, like we are now, you're going to lose some of the data packets in transit, and the lost packets have to be resent, uh, which translates into slower speeds. 
but you'll notice that we're still getting some pretty solid performance. 20 megs down on the UK server and about 17 on the French, which is still three to four times the speed you need in order to get uh, HD video streamed via Netflix or YouTube, which only requires about five megabits per second. And if you need even faster speeds, you can try the PPTP protocol instead of OpenVPN, which uses more lightweight encryption, which should translate into even faster speeds for you. But all in all, Viper VPN has performed pretty well, definitely above average for their international VPN speeds. All right, last up, I just want to give you a tour of the dump truck encrypted cloud storage feature that is included with every Viper VPN package. It's very well executed and definitely one of the biggest selling points of Viper VPN. So here we go. By far one of the coolest features is the dump truck encrypted cloud storage, which as we mentioned is already included with every Viper VPN plan. It's easy to use on any of your devices. They have a dump truck standalone app for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac for easily syncing your files to your cloud storage, or you can use their really functional web app, so no third-party app required. They allow you to easily share files with friends. You can use an email address or password to protect your files and even put a self-destructing uh, expiration date on the files so that nobody else can access them after a certain date besides yourself. There's no limitations on file size. They have unlimited upload and download speeds. The data transfer is encrypted with 256-bit encryption, and the files are actually encrypted on the cloud drive with encryption as well. And they store three copies of every piece of data, which means you don't have to worry about your data being lost. Okay, so here we are on the dump truck web app, and signing in here is just as easy as going to your Golden Frog account, and then just clicking on the dump truck tab. Uh, and adding files is just as easy as drag and drop. You can just add individual files. You just drag and drop and it'll go and sync automatically. It'll show up or you can add entire folders. Okay. Once you've got your files on your cloud drive, you can set up your sharing options. So you select it, right click. You can invite friends by their email address. You can choose the permissions, whether they can edit, read and edit, or just read the files. You can even send them a little message. You can set up public sharing by using something called get link. And this will generate a custom uh, link that you can publicly share that will give anybody access to this specific file. Okay, so now this is the, the link right here. You can choose to share it or make the link self-destruct after a certain period of time. So you just click save. And then now if you go over to your public links, it'll show up there. You've got two public links. And of course you can just delete the links. Oop. Okay. You can choose from a list view or a thumbnail view. If you wanna see what the actual file look like, say they're images, or you can create new folders to organize your stuff. And then deleting files is just as simple as selecting them all, or you can just go to the select all tool here and then just hit the delete tab. All right, that's it. Pretty well designed, simple, and very functional. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you want to take advantage of our 50% offer for Viper VPN, gosh, that's hard to say, please go to vpntop10.com slash VYPR. You'll get 50% off your first month of service. And also, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe. Now, here are some other awesome videos we've made.